the background to BFG as a group, as a company, and this investment in South Africa? BFG is, uh, is an industrial group, started out in 1975. It's one of the pioneers in the area of composites, uh, and it started as a small local company and started out in Bahrain, and it grew over the past 40 years into a small multinational, uh, working in all continents and uh, supplying clients uh, in over 30 different countries. Uh, in different sectors, in rail, in architecture, wind energy, industrial, leisure, marine, and several other sectors where composites are really making a transformation in, uh, in products, uh, providing the capability for designs and for creations that could not be possible earlier. And as you see, even in the area of aerospace, for example, and trains, building lighter weight components that are more green because they save energy and uh, they even improve the passenger experience. And this investment in South Africa, what is the background to that? And so South it? Africa is, is an important, is a key part of our growth strategy. Uh, we, Africa, it was a continent that we've considered for a very long time um, as, a, as a place where we, we see tremendous potential in many different sectors. And we started looking at this over 10 years ago, seriously, uh, trying to source a good location to start. South Africa was obviously one of the prime targets. And uh, in our investment strategy, it's always important that we start out with a project that is active and that will provide the venture when it starts with a necessary running start. And so the Praza project, uh, which we signed up, uh, started speaking about it in 2012 with Alstom and we signed up shortly thereafter was really the impetus that drove our decision to come here and, and set up uh, and actually begin the setup of, uh, of BFG Africa. Uh, practically, what have you invested in South Africa? So what we've invested, of course, is the capital. Uh, we've, we've set up this facility as an advanced facility. It's actually one of our more advanced facilities of the group and we've set up uh, some of the capabilities here that are new to the group such as the uh, sheet metal uh, compound manufacture and the press molding as well as some of the other technologies so we invested a lot of know-how invested obviously in machinery and uh, are investing obviously in continued market education and market growth so what practically are you making in this factory so today we are starting out with uh, rail components and in the area of rail, what we're doing here, we're covering the front ends of trains. These are the front masks. So they're highly aesthetic, they have to be accurate, they're uh, structural to a large extent. And then we're doing some of the interior panels that go inside the train. Um, all the uh, window surrounds, all the ceilings that go inside the train. So really covering a lot of the products that passengers would be interacting with uh, inside the train. And what are you seeing as some of the future market opportunities in South Africa? There are tremendous opportunities. Uh, you know, South Africa, first of all, would be in, internally the market here has tremendous growth potential. Of course, automotive is already a large sector. And we see that BFG Africa could develop very strongly in this area, but we could also look at wind energy. We see wind energy becoming a very important part of uh, South African development and really throughout Africa. So this could be a center for manufacturing components. We make generator housings, we make spinners, and architecture. Architecture and infrastructure is a huge area, and it's not very well understood. It's one, BFG is the world leader in producing composites for architecture, and we've been working with a lot of the famous architects, with Foster and Partners, Zaha Hadid, and others in developing solutions for architecture, which are being deployed, and we see that this would become also a very large market here in this continent and in South Africa specifically. And finally, as the first Bahrainian manufacturer to invest in South Africa, what sort of lessons have you learned and, and the approach that you've taken in terms of partnership with merchants and others? What, what lessons would you take back home? Well, I think South Africa is, uh, is a fantastic opportunity. And I think if, if uh, what, what we've learned, it hasn't been necessarily a very difficult uh, road. It's just uh, you have to have patience. It is a new, new continent, a new country. Uh, and you have to make sure that you have the right partners. We're lucky to, to have discovered a good partner with the Mergence Group and, 
And I think that's important. It's a uh, key thing is to make sure that you have a good partner you, that can understand what is industry and is uh, capable to understand the mindset that goes with it and all the challenges that go with it, but also all the opportunities that go with it. So South Africa, I think, is a, we're very happy to be here. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. Um, I would encourage other investors as well to consider from our region to come out here. I would also uh, suggest that South Africa could also do a bit more in terms of promotion um, in our part of the world. I think there needs to be a little bit more uh, knowledge transfer and of course we'll act as ambassadors uh, for this.